going on everybody and welcome back to the channel fragrance journey hopefully everybody's having a blessed day hopefully everybody's having a blessed blessed week today we're going to be speaking about my love for green fragrances and this just started maybe a year ago enjoying green fragrances was not my thing when i first got in the fragrance game i used to do a lot of live streams and people would ask me about green fragrances my favorite green fragrances and i would say i don't like green fragrances and um, that changed maybe a year ago, a year and a half ago, I would think. It's not something that I just go out and pick up on a regular, but I do really enjoy green fragrances and I'm starting to lean towards trying to add more to my collection. Today, we're gonna be speaking about three of them that really turned my head. The first one we're gonna talk about changed my mind. Three of them that really changed my mind. First, we're gonna talk about is Spirito from the house of Mel Fuccini. This one features notes of angelica, herbal notes, chamomile, carrot, cypress, myrtle, paper, hyssop, vetiver, elmi resin, cedar, gaiac wood, and musk. In the opening, you got angelica, you've got herbal notes, you got chamomile, which can come off kind of herbal. The carrot is not some that I really get, but again, this one's very woody too. This one almost reminds me of walking through a forest in the middle of fall well i wouldn't say fall in the middle of spring i guess um you got you know bark from trees you've got uh green fl floral floral things you've got um wood you've got it just it just reminds me of being in a forest i don't really get much of the paper the vetiver is there again this does get resinous as it gets towards the dry down it also has cedar in it woody gaiac wood woody it's got some musk too in the dry down overall dope green fragrances if, fragrance if you're into green fragrances i definitely suggest checking this one out the next one up we're going to talk about is from the house of frederick mall and this one is in america i think this is boys uh french lover Overseas, I think the bottle is Bois d'Orange. Bois d'Orange? I don't know why they name the bottles in Europe different from the bottles in America, but I got that one from the plug. I don't know where he got it from, but I guess he got it from somebody in Europe. This features got, this doesn't have a lot of notes. Gabanum, spices, angelica, cedar, incense, vetiver, oak moss, and white musk. This is one that I could not stand. <clears throat> Excuse me, when I was getting all my Frederick Mall fragrances, I got a sample of this. And I was like, when I first sprayed, I was like, no, I can't do it. I think Noir Spice, it Spices was one too. I was like, I can't do it. I can't not do it. I can't do it. And that, the more I wore it, the more it really wore on me. This one is not overly complex. This one is definitely very masculine. It opens up very green, very spicy, very traditional. You got incense, cedar, woodiness. The vetiver is kind of green and woody. Yes, that's a banger. That's definitely like shirt open, chest hair out, man, you know, like masculine, very masculine. But I can see women pulling this off too, but this is a very masculine fragrance to me. When I first smelled it, it was over spicy. The incense was too heavy. It was a little bit too loud for me, but it's one that's really grown on me. Lasts on my skin for an eternity. Uh, and I like to wear that one a lot, to be honest. In the fall, springtime, winter, I like to wear that one a lot. The last one I'm gonna speak about is, I picked this one up while on vacation in Paris. This one is from Parfums de Nicolas. This one is V de Chateau. Hopefully I said that right. I wish I would've got a bigger bottle of this. You can see I put a nice dent you know, for my collection, for me to put dents in bottles, you know, unless I wear that bottle on a regularly, it's kind of hard. And this is one that I sprayed on earlier. This one has a lot of notes. This is uh, thyme, grapefruit, tarragon, which can come off herbal, bergamot, jasmine, oak moss, tobacco, tobacco, hay, resins, vetiver, patchouli, pine tree, and musk. This opens up with citruses on the top you got the tarragon which comes out very herbal the oak moss comes out very woody that gives you a woody aspect to this fragrance you got tobacco you've got hay 
is resinous towards the dry down. Overall, one of my favorite green fragrances. It's got a bit of a cologne type feel to it, but it's also got that woodiness, it's got that greenness. It's just overall bang. It's very airy, very transparent, but it lasts really good on my skin. That's one I wish I would've got a bigger bar love. I didn't, when I first got my nose on it, I instantly fell in love and I was shocked because I did not like green fragrances at the time. I smelled so many when I was in Paris and I was like, no, I do not like this. I went all dark, ambery, animalic. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't open the green fragrances at that time, but definitely open to them now. If you can leave a comment down below, tell me some of your favorite green fragrances in your collection. Have you ever uh, not liked a certain genre of fragrances? Maybe you don't like animalic fragrances, now you do. Maybe you don't like ambery fragrances, now you do. Maybe you don't like leathery fragrances, now you do. So leave a comment down below, tell me some of your gr favorite green fragrances. And also, is there any genre of fragrance fragrances that you didn't like that you like now i appreciate you watching the video if you can't like subscribe leave a comment down below more content on the way if you woke up today you're definitely winning we out